there, this is LEGO Dynasty, and today I'm bringing you guys a review on the LEGO Marvel Studios The Infinity Saga Endgame Final Battle uh, Minifigure Accessory Pack. It is set number 40525, comes with 62 pieces, and is rated 6 and up. As you can see on the box, it does have 5 minifigures, uh, including a buildable Meek character, when before we just had the head and not the armor and legs of the character. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this minifigure pack, looking at the packaging first. So you do have Thanos up there, the Infinity Saga with the Infinity Gauntlet there. You can see the Avengers logo at the bottom. Uh, the back packaging, you can see the main figures included in the set quite well there. See some of the weapons. We've got Thor's hammer, a sword, uh, what looks to be some sort of shooting weapon, an energy shield. Taking a look at the final builds and minifigures included in the set, you can see, uh, and especially in comparison to Star Wars, uh, obviously there is more minifigures included in the set and the builds are way less, you know, complete in this set is how I would describe it as. But we'll get into that. Taking a look at uh, our first minifigure, we have Thor, who looks pretty good. And this is obviously based off of him in Endgame, where he's supposed to be a little bit chubbier as he's a... Uh, Dealing with depression after failing. And overall, pretty good minifigure. Um, my one gripe with the figure is uh, what they didn't include, which was Stormbreaker. We obviously see him at the start of the battle use Mjolnir here, but uh, after Captain America gets the hammer, uh, he starts primarily using Stormbreaker. So it would have been nice if they included both, in my opinion, then that would have been perfect. Uh, Maybe they're worried about spoilers, but I mean, Endgame came out in 2019. It's 2022, so I don't know why they didn't include Stormbreaker. It's just a stick with an axe head. So obviously you can make one yourself, but it would have been nice if it was included. Uh, showing his double-sided face, you got his lightning eyes. And lifting up the cape, you can see the back printing there. Moving on to our next minifigure, we have Valkyrie. And this is just a fail on Lego's end because uh, she doesn't look like this in Avengers Endgame. This is her look inspired by Thor Ragnarok. This set is based off of Avengers Endgame, so it's really <laughs> very discouraging that Lego had such a big miss on this figure. Like, it's such an easy thing to change. I'm pretty sure they made the accurate Valkyrie minifigure from Avengers Endgame. They could have just thrown that one in this. So, I don't know why they put this one in here. It's still a nice figure, don't get me wrong. The nice printing detail on the torso there. Uh, does not have a double-sided head because of the hairpiece. But you can see the nice back printing there. Like, overall, this is a very nice printed minifigure. And if you don't have the Thor Ragnarok version of Valkyrie, I'm sure you're happy to get it in a very cheap set like this. But at the end of the day... It's such a simple fix to get the correct minifigure, and they completely messed up there. Next up, we have what I would describe as the most detailed figure in the whole set. And you can tell just by looking at the leg printing on him, is Korok. does have the, uh, I don't know if you'd describe it as a sword with the gun at the top. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be. I don't remember this weapon in Avengers Endgame, but I won't criticize Lego, because at the end of the day, it has the nice play feature there with the stud shooter. But overall, this figure is excellent. Just look at the detail on him. This is an excellent figure. The nice back print in there. Taking off his rocky hairpiece reveals his other double side face of him smiling. Uh, with his mouth open, which makes sense. You know, Korg is always kind of happy, even in the heat of battle. He's not very angry, it seems. So very nice figure. Definitely the best in this minifigure pack. Next up, we have Meek, and compared to the previous version we got, which was in the Brothor's apartment, this one actually has his uh, attacking body. So uh, it is all brick built, obviously, which overall works. I think it does a decent job of capturing the look. Uh, it doesn't stand upright, so if you don't have it on studs, it just will fall over, I'll show you. It's very hard to get it balanced right to stay up. And I haven't been able to yet. So if it's on a blaze plate or you just place it on somewhere, um, it'll stay up fine. But just placing it on a flat surface, it's not going to stay up. So 
not really a big deal, but still an observation. Next up, we have the Shatari Warrior. Now, of course, we do see these guys in Avengers Endgame as part of Thanos' army. This is just a guy to battle uh, with the characters. Personally, I think this character was unneeded. They wanted some at the battle, but we've seen with the Star Wars minifigure packs, you don't necessarily have to have that. You have the clone minifigure pack, which is clones together, the rebel pack, which is rebels together. And I think this one could have been the same as well, where you would have gotten an extra hero character. So who could it have been? I don't know. Um, just trying to think of a character we didn't get many of. Perhaps, uh, perhaps a Wasp figure or Black Panther. Like I'm just trying to think of characters that would have been nice to get in a cheap set like this. So you could choose anyone else. Uh, I just don't think the Shatari was necessary, but it's still got some nice printed detail, the nice torso, face print, and back print. No leg printing, unfortunately. And like I said, this is the same shield that we've seen uh, from Star Wars, it just doesn't have the printed design. So nice to see them reuse that shield. It might have been reused in other sets before, but I just remember the translucent uh, shield being used primarily in Star Wars, for the Gungan shields and it had a printed gold design on it. Just showing off the one build you can see very lackluster overall. It's almost again unnecessary just with how it is but it has the stud shooter and it fell apart on me as I was trying to shoot off the stud shooter but shoot it off and then you do get some extra parts. See these are the extra parts I was left with so you got some extra studs the two orange ones for uh, Korg's stud shooter, and then the purple ones for the Shatari one, right there. <coughs> Taking a look at the manual, this one has uh, the main minifigures being built on it. Back of it shows the builds for Meek's body and the weapon. So pretty basic. You could definitely make more at your own home if you have these parts, or perhaps modify a better one if you so desire. The LEGO Marvel Infinity Saga Endgame Minifigure Accessory Pack is overall an okay but severely flawed set. Having the Ron Valkyrie minifigure is just such an easy fix that could have been easily changed over in production, in my opinion, and yet they still went with this completely inaccurate figure. Not including Stormbreaker is a less glaring issue, but still, uh, that is the main weapon Thor is using in this battle throughout the whole battle so it would have been nice to have that included as well i also personally think the shatari warrior is irrelevant to the set and we've seen in other minifigure packs that you can have an all heroes uh, minifigure pack or just uh, all the same characters on the same affiliation you don't have to make it an actual battle set it could have just been a minifigure uh, accessory pack rather than the end game battle uh, minifigure accessory pack just in general you know it's a it's a very cheap set i believe this comes in at 14.99 us and 18.99 canadian so overall you get some great minifigures uh the best one in the set is definitely cord without a doubt um but still nice to get a full meek body after only getting the headpiece in the pro thor's apartment always nice to get another thor minifigure and the valkyrie minifigure while inaccurate is still very good and same with the Shatari Warrior, nice to have, but again, I think it would have been better having another hero character included in this set uh, that we haven't gotten in another endgame set or just haven't gotten uh, very often. So with that being said, that's all my opinion. This has been LEGO Dynasty. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this minifigure accessory pack in the comments down below, and have a great day, everyone.